The recipe for a great NFL rivalry typically requires a concoction of great teams, elite quarterback play, and good old fashioned drama. And that's exactly what the Colts and Patriots had heading into their 2007 regular season matchup, which was labeled Super Bowl 41.5. So get your popcorn ready because you're watching Tales of the Gridiron in the most hyped up NFL regular season game of all time. In the 2000s, the Colts and Patriots were arguably the greatest rivalry in sports. On one side, the Patriots were led by Tom Brady, who went from underdog to one of the NFL's most decorated players in just a few years. But the Patriots weren't just Brady. They had Bill Belichick, who was a defensive mastermind, working with Patriots legends like Teddy Bruschi, Ty Law, Richard Seymour, Rodney Harrison, Vince Wilfork, and many, many others. And on the other end, the Indianapolis Colts were led by Peyton Manning. Peyton was the first pick in the 1998 NFL Draft and led the Colts to many record-breaking moments and great regular season win-loss records. But despite those great successes, the Colts consistently came up short in the playoffs, with the Patriots knocking the Colts out in 2003 and the 2004 seasons. That all changed in the 2006 season when the Colts beat the Patriots in the AFC Championship game after coming back down 18 points, which added fuel to the rivalry. Adding to that drama was the fact that Peyton Manning believed the Patriots had bugged the visitor locker room, so the Colts would discuss key game plan ideas in different areas. Meanwhile, the Patriots accused the Colts of pumping artificial noise into the RCA Dome to make it harder for them to communicate. So as you could assume, in 2007, tensions between both teams was at an all-time high when the Colts and Patriots again founding themselves setting up to face each other in another high-stakes game. The Colts were 7-0 and the Patriots were 8-0 entering Week 9. This was the latest point in an NFL season where two unbeaten teams have faced. And this was the first time these teams had seen each other since playing in the AFC Championship game the prior year. The anticipation for this game was off the charts, with the media labeling this game Super Bowl 41.5. The Patriots were absolutely dominating opponents with newly acquired wide receiver Randy Moss. Him and Tom Brady's chemistry was out of the world. The Colts were the defending champions and they were getting the job done too, thanks in part to a revived defense. Bob Sanders was healthy and he would eventually win Defensive Player of the Year in 2007. So with both teams hitting their stride, many people felt this game would determine who would get the number one seed in the AFC entering the playoffs. And the game itself lived up to the expectations. It was a back and forth duel with many twists and turns. For example, Adam Vinatieri, former Patriot, missed his first field goal in the RCA Dome ever. Joseph Adai, Colts running back, had a huge game with over 200 combined yards. Randy Moss caught nine passes for nearly 150 yards and a touchdown, and the Colts held a two-score lead. But this time, it was Tom Brady and the Patriots who were able to orchestrate a comeback and win the game. And actually, this was the last time these teams would face that season as the Colts got upset by the Chargers in the divisional round of the playoffs. But the Patriots kept on winning and they made it to Super Bowl 42 where they were upset by Peyton's brother. Eli stopped the Patriots in their path to perfection. And oddly enough, the Colts and Patriots would only play two more games where Peyton Manning and Tom Brady were the starting quarterbacks for both teams. So as we look back on the history of the NFL, the Manning vs. Brady, Colts vs. Patriots rivalry will go down as one of the greatest of all time. And to me, that 2007 game was the pinnacle of the Manning vs. Brady, Colts vs. Patriot matchups. The drama, the teams, the quarterbacks were established, they were playing well, and that to me is a tale worth telling. I appreciate you guys watching this channel, and if you're interested in more content, please subscribe to this channel. I'm on my path to 1,000 subscribers, so it'd mean a lot if you help me get there. Uh, comment below which moment in football history you'd like to hear next. Thanks for watching.